What's up, Motive Nation? It's Wesley Lowe here at B3 Performance in Tempe, Arizona to give you three tips for beginning two-handed bowlers. So two-handed bowling is very intricate. There's a lot of moving parts and people on TV make it look way too easy. So the first thing that I got for you guys is that you gotta keep your head still. If you look, people are keeping their head still, looking at their targets, and hitting their mark every single time. Beginning two-handed bowlers tend to use their upper body and move their head so much that they lose sight of their target and they're not able to roll it over there consistently. So tip number two is to keep your elbow in closer to your hip. The reason why I say this is most two-handed bowlers just starting, they tend to chicken wing the bowling ball, which means they're hand comes over the bowling ball and doesn't have a proper roll. This causes inconsistencies in your ball roll and you wonder why your ball either hooks too much or goes too far down the lane. So in order to fix this, you want to try to keep your elbow tucked in closer to your hip and let the ball roll off your hand opposed to using your shoulder and elbow to execute your shot. Tip number three, and there's no wrong or right on this one, but this is probably better for the longevity of your bowling career and that is to slide. Bowlers in the past have also learned to plant, but I feel like that is a bad thing for your knees and you don't want to be injured trying to bowl into your 40s and 50s, medical bills are expensive. So if you learn how to slide properly, that will help you with your bowling game, but help you with your flat spot as well to give you a longer time maneuvering your hand at the bottom of the swing in order to execute better. These are some of the tips that are going to help you guys become better two-handed bowlers, and we'll see you next time.